Hey there, welcome to The Guardian. We have a beautiful sunny day after what you can see is a lot of rain. There's water all over on the pavement, but that's okay. I'll probably just end up sweeping it off. But I went to the garden center for the first time since we moved and I had to grab a few flowers. So I kind of am having these orange and yellow tones right now. I feel like I'm buying a lot of yellow flowers, but they're just so pretty. This ranunculus is absolutely stunning. And then I also picked up some really pretty violas too. So I wanted to just share with you these flowers because, oh my gosh, let me, okay, let me give you a close up on this ranunculus. Ranunculus is absolutely one of my favorite spring kind of cool weather flowers. Look at how gorgeous it is. There's a bunch of buds, which I feel like these buds are almost, you know, as pretty as the flowers. Ranunculus and peonies are both like, they're just so stunning. And is this not the most gorgeous thing? So as you can see, this is the, um, the Masha Fire Ranunculus and it's beautiful. There's um, a little bud in here too. Oh my gosh, that like black center with the kind of orangey yellow outside, stunning and like the, the red sort of tips. Oh, so, so, so pretty. And Ranunculus is a really good one for containers. Um, it's, you know, just kind of a spring weather. So it's gonna have a season where it blooms in the kind of cool weather, spring, early summer, and then um, it will be done. So it's nice for like just doing a spring container that you know you're gonna switch out for some summer flowers because uh, the, the leaves and everything, it just kind of dies back. Um, so it's not one that's gonna be like a long-term uh, flower in your garden, but it's so pretty that I think it's worth it. And typically like with this one you see, um, it has a lot of bloom stalks on it. So you're gonna get more than just like one flower. So it's perfect for a container because you can just pop it into a container, brighten up um, a space for the spring and then switch it out. And then violas, look at these violas. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They look so healthy and they're like this beautiful, like almost brown. They would be really pretty for a fall garden as well. It's the Horned Violet Sorbet Honeybee. I think I actually did have some of these honeybees um, in my garden last, uh, last fall because they're just like the perfect color. They would actually look really pretty, I think, in with, um, these lettuce. So that these I are have. the containers that I fill with lettuce and there's actually in here some dahlias which have started to sprout. You can see the first sprout of the dahlia but there's some room around the outside here like there's a little space and so what I think I might do is just groom up some of these lettuce plants and then actually stick a couple violas in with the lettuce just to kind of i don't know just add a little bit of of color and i think that the contrast like that is so so pretty and then the ranunculus i'm just gonna pop in a container all on its own so i just need to pull out a container from the garden shed and then plant up this ranunculus and then we'll pop the violas into the containers with the lettuce just to yeah just to add some some life, but isn't that pretty, those tones? I'm gonna have to get some blues and maybe like some pinks or something in here next. I can't let myself buy any more yellow flowers. Every year I do this, there's like one color that just calls to me. So I'm gonna have to remind myself, no more, no more yellow. Uh, but for now it's fine. So I'm just gonna get a container for the ranunculus. It's basically the same size as the pot. I think it's in like a one gallon pot. And I don't really think I need to put, um, any bigger of a container on it because it's not really gonna put in any growth. Um, I'm not gonna underplant it with anything. I'm just gonna make it like a single container. Uh, so I don't really need any extra space. And as I said, it's just gonna kind of like die back and be done um, at the end of the season. So I don't really need anything bigger, just a pot that will fit that one gallon sized pot. And then I may do, let's see, I, am, I think I'm gonna grab a little pot like this to maybe do a couple violas in this container as well. Cause I don't think I'm gonna fit all of the violas in with the lettuce. I still, as you can see, have not ordered any of the raised beds. I need to kind of, I keep saying I need to get on it and do some more ordering, but even when you don't have your raised garden or raised bed garden set up yet, it does not mean 
that you can't do some gardening and have some fun, you know, at the garden center and have some fun with some plants. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, let's get these planted up. So pretty. Look how cute this little garden is looking. Okay, so we definitely need to add some contrasting colors because it's all very yellow and red tones, but I think it's actually looking really pretty and really sweet. And I will totally start bringing in some, some more color, but oh, this combination is just perfect. And I do need to come in and start harvesting some of this lettuce. It is totally time just taking the outer leaves. We will definitely be doing that soon. There's also nothing better than just like a single viola in a pot. That is super cute. I'm so interested to see how these violas grow um, this spring in the containers. This is a totally new growing zone to me. So um, typically where I in zone 7a in Virginia where I had been growing my violas were like I would plant them in the fall they grow all the way through um till like June so I'm gonna be very interested to see how they do in this climate uh but they look really happy right now we've got like perfect temperatures it's about like 65 sunny to 65 and 70 and sunny today and then like the nights have been in like the 50s so perfect temperatures for the violas and for the ranunculus too and this makes me so happy. So, you know, the whole big garden is not set up, but I'm just sort of like slowly building this collection of containers and then we'll build the raised beds around it. And we're just gonna like let it sort of naturally evolve and come together. And I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Um, and it's gonna be fun to see. So yeah, next on the list are gonna be some, like definitely some blue, because that would set off the yellow, you know, opposite on the color wheel and then maybe some pink maybe red i don't know we gotta get some more flowers let me know in the comments um especially if you are like a california gardener if you have any favorite kind of like blue flowers or purple you know obviously a lot of like blue flowers are actually kind of technically purple so yeah pur purple blue let me know what plants like just good annuals that i should get that would add to this sort of collection um, of flowers because I think this is this is really fun. This makes me so happy to get this growing in the garden. It's slowly, slowly building. We've got the flowers, we've 
we've got some food the dahlias are coming up so pretty soon well probably in eight weeks or so we're gonna have big gorgeous yellow dahlias and then we'll definitely need those blue flowers around it but anyways there we are the first true annual flowers in the new garden space today is a good day um, as always thank you so 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 <laughs> thank you so much for watching we'll talk again soon